Hello guys, it's Miki. Welcome to my channel. And if you just into my channel, please subscribe, turn on the notification bell so as to be notified each time there's an upload coming from me. So today I'm going to be talking about face creams. I know some of you will be like, hey, yes, this is what we're waiting for. Well, um, these face creams are actually meant to treat a particular problem. If you're having that most times, most of the time is actually for dark spots. All right. Um, now I'm just going to be talking about some of the creams, but you and I know you're meant to mix something and something inside it in order to actually get its full potential. But now I'm also going to introduce you to a cream that you don't need to mix anything and you will still get the full potential of that cream. Okay. So here we've got carotone. So many people actually know carotone, carotone BSC. So many people like cream your okay, she share. This was actually what I used. If you guys have been following me over time, you'd notice I used this and I mixed it with some other product to take off my dark spots. Yes, and it worked. It took it off. I show you guys the after effect. So yes, carotone actually does work. But the only thing is it lightens the face. So instead of that, you equate it with this Tojo. Tojo face cream and carotone, they do practically the same thing. But one difference about Tojo is Tojo doesn't really brighten the skin. A dark person can actually use Tojo face cream in order to take off the dark spot. But you're not just going to be using only Tojo alone like that. You're going to be mixing it with other things in order to get its full potential. Now, make sure your Tojo face cream is whitish inside when you take off the label because it tends to get brownish quickly. When it gets brown, just know it's, it's already gone bad. Okay, it has to be whitish in color, all right, whitish in color. And for carotone, we really don't even get to notice if it's gone bad or not because it still remains the same. So in terms of its preservative, they really tried in preserving it really, really well, really, really well. All right. So yes, they, they can work interchangeably. Yes, can be used interchangeably. For someone with a light skin that actually wants to still remain being bright, this would be used alongside other ingredients to mix it to take off your dark spot while for someone with a dark skin the ingredient mixed with this but using this to replace this will be used for someone with a dark skin right but it has, it has to be mixed with some things so in order to help in taking off your dark spot okay now we've got um pimento all right for people who actually want to get bright but it also is meant to treat a particular problem like if you're having dark spots it helps in treating that but the disadvantage i just the thing i actually don't like about it that it has a disadvantage all right just because i'm talking about the advantage doesn't mean i'm not going to talk about disadvantage okay um it actually has a disadvantage and it actually tends to make the face a bit hot it looks hot like pepperish okay that's one thing i don't like about it and you can't go out in the sun when you use this so most times i would recommend you use this at night only at night and just little um quantity just scoop a little so that little you get to scoop you put it like this right you make sure it goes round the face don't just pack and pack some people like packing their cream you pack it and you, no 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 just a little you know and you just put it round. that's what i do to my face cream just a little and i put it here put it here put it here put it here and i start massaging it that's what i just do all right don't just pack face. they don't pack face cream the way they pack body cream they don't you know, just little mixture for your face cream goes a long way the face is more sensitive and more delicate compared to the body all right so um don't use this during the day because if you use it during the day and you go out your face becomes all red and splotchy and you don't want that trust me you don't okay but it's actually it actually does brighten the face but uh, too too powerful so meant to be used at night and if you're using a cream like this don't scrub your face i don't scrub my face as at now i don't so this is what i use yes and here this is what i use i use face towel all right what i tend to do when i was treating my dark spot i showed you guys when it was massive on my face i had to scrub it but when it got to a stage where i still had just little little spots that wasn't as you know bad as before so I tend to mask my soap on my face. After masking my soap on my face, I'll put my towel, I'll wet the towel, do, like dip it in the water, squeeze it, and I start to, you know, clean my face with it. I didn't have to wash my face, no. Dip it in the water, 
squeeze it and you this is the face towel you should use this is a soft face towel all right maybe i might actually give it out as a gift as well who knows <laughs> okay use a face towel i beg don't use sponge I ate it like juju in long. We don't use sponge anymore on the face. Nobody uses sponge on the face. We use face towel on the face in order to give you a smooth face. You know, sometimes you might be wondering, you'll be wondering, ah, how come this lady's face is so smooth and my own is so rough? All right? Don't, and don't use water to just wash your face like that and just, no. As a lady, you take this and clean your face. At the same time, after cleaning your face, you clean your ears, you know? It's part of your ears also needs to be clean. All right, that's that. Now we've got another face cream here by Nano Extra White. Papaya. Um, I don't actually like papaya for my face because it only makes my face look red, reddish and splotchy. Now for someone who has a sunburn, I don't advise you use this because it only makes that part reddish for you. Okay. Now if you have sunburn, yes, you can actually use this, but a mixture, combination of this all right, with a nice soap, maybe a goat milk face soap would be nice. All right, you notice a huge difference. And also, if you have sunburn, you can also use Tojo. Tojo goes a long way as well, but a mixture of Tojo with some other ingredients, okay? It goes a long way in taking it off, a long way, okay? Now, since I said you can mix all other creams, blah, 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 and blah, 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 like that. Well, this is the cream that you don't need to mix every other thing together. Just using it like that to take off your dark spots. People will actually have dark spots. But the most important thing is to get a face soap. You can get like a goat milk face soap, which is really, really nice. Because goat milk doesn't contain all those uh, go, go to go ingredients that you don't know about. Goat milk face soap is nice. It will actually help in brightening your face and giving it youthful, youthful look. All right. And use a face towel. I'm begging you. You can see I even brought it out to show you. Use a face towel roll. Don't use sponge on your face. Don't do that. And don't use water to just rinse your face. Don't do that. Because using water to just rinse your face alone would actually make it so quickly, like you start seeing cellulite quickly. Sorry about that. You start seeing cellulite quickly on your face. Cellulite are those things that look like a goosey. All right. And then you have to go for facials. Okay. Or practically almost all the time. Is that how you want to keep going for facials? Nope. So most times it's better to just use this. Put it in water, squeeze it, and you, you know, clean your face with it. That way you're even shedding off most of all those uh, cellulite on your face. You're shedding it off. And you're making your face smooth. Okay, so this is the face cream. I'm going to put it closer. I don't have endorsement. That's what some people say. Hey, Mickey has got endorsement deal. No, 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 no. Okay. Someone used this and they told me about it in the market. So, and the lady's face... Was she showed me pictures, so I just felt ah, oh, yeah, but what you told me since I didn't mix it myself, if it's something I mix myself, you guys know that me, yeah, I will not show it to you. But something that it's already it's ready made, and people have used it and they've testified in the markets that it works for them. So I just felt ah, let me show you guys for people who do not want to, or maybe they're asking me, Nikki, what can I use for my dark spot? What can I use for my dark spot? Well, now you've seen it, let me show you how it looks inside. This is the inside content it all right and um this is it that's how it looks it's strictly for dark spots all right for dark spots get a soap as well a goat milk soap will be nice okay if you're using and if you're trying to take off dark spots don't scrub okay it depends on the anyways it depends on how the spot is on your face it was as bad as my own before that I had spots and that I had pimples, that I had so many blacks where you can scrub. But if it's not that much, okay, and if you have a face soap cream like this, you don't need to scrub. So all you just have to do is get maybe a goat milk face soap, all right? Mask the soap on your face, leave it for a few minutes, take your face towel, soak it in the water, clean it, then just a little quantity of it on your face, like this, and you'll notice. A huge difference a huge difference all right with time it will start shedding off your dark spot to start shedding off all right so i'll take a picture of it and i'll put it on the screen so you guys go check it out all right it's not a must you buy for Mickey. i keep saying it you know i keep putting it on the screen so you guys could probably go get it somewhere else if you want to okay so 
I hope you guys actually understood what I just talked about today. Yes, and I'll show you the cream again. Well, this one, you don't need to mix anything. No tube, nothing, nothing. It's already been mixed on its own. All right. It's been mixed by the company, actually. And it does work. Unlike um, carotene that you have to mix something in order to make it potent. As well as tojo. Well, you don't need to do that here. With this one, it's it's settled, all right? The most important thing is to get a face soap. And I told you the suitable face soap to get is goat milk face soap. Goat milk face soap that will help in bringing your skin back to its youthful state that it was. And get a face towel. It's very cheap. Face towel is cheap, all right? Get it. For someone that loves to go to shop right a lot, you can go and get it there. For someone that likes uh, street things now, you know, matter. Face towels, these day street things. But make sure it's soft. It's a soft face towel you're getting. All right, and it's strictly for the face. You know, squeeze it after you're done, wash it and dry it. Make sure you dry it because when you don't dry it and you allow it to be wet at all times, it gets uh, infected on time. Okay, something that was supposed to treat the skin end up damaging the skin. So make sure you get to dry it. Once you're done cleaning your face, wash it and dry it, and that's all. And um, don't use uh, most of all these uh, detergents to wash, no, use a mild soap to wash the towels because one most of those detergents at times irritate the skin okay so use a mild soap in washing it when you want to wash it then dry it once it's dry it second day pour water again make sure it's wet squeeze it and clean your face again every other day morning and night 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 and you see a huge dif a huge difference was my face like this before even then even if i still use makeup you guys will still notice i had so many breakouts though this was not what i used i just have to be honest with you okay i mixed my own cream but so many people gave good reviews about this in the market people that i know had breakouts and it's gone and i'm just telling you what i used face towel make sure you get a face towel to take off most of the debris cellulite on your face so you won't be seeing a goosey all over your face okay though it might be there if you still go to it because naturally you still need to visit a spa once in a while but not on a regular basis, okay? So, I hope you guys actually enjoyed this video. I know you did, because I did. All right, so I'll see you guys in my next skincare video. And I love you guys like Kilo Day.